Hey, how's it going? My name's Anil, and I'm here to talk to you about some 360 cameras. You may know me as the guy that once hung off the CN Tower wearing a 360 camera on top of my head. Actually, you probably won't, but I'm using that to establish some street cred before I go into these cameras. I've had a lot of people ask me about cameras and wonder like, how the heck does 360 work? Or how do we even shoot it? So before we spend any time talking about any of those technical details, I'll tell you that we mostly shoot with the 6 GoPro rig over here. However, it can be a very unique beast to deal with. So I grabbed a couple of 360 cameras that I really liked and were pretty affordable, and I'm going to talk about each one of them today. We have the 360 Fly 4K, the Ricoh Theta S, of course we have the Freedom 360, 6 GoPro Hero 4 Blacks, and we got the Samsung Gear 360. So each one of these are really amazing in their own rights, and we're going to kind of cut through each one, but not focus on the technical details, but what it feels like to use each one of these cameras. So you're going to be able to find the 360 Fly 4K camera for around $500 on Amazon or anywhere else you look into it. I think that's a little bit overpriced because it is a single lens camera and you do get a lot of fisheye effects and you do have a massive black hole at the bottom. However, it is waterproof, so if you're looking for waterproof, something that's going to let you record in the water or get a serious splash on it, it's really great for that. If you want to see a couple samples of the 360 Fly 4K in action, click the card below and give it a peek. After you're done, make sure to come back to the video to check out the rest of the cameras. The Ricoh Theta S is going to run you around $345. It is a dual lens camera and it takes great still pictures. It also works on both Android and iOS, although the app is a bit finicky and you do have to actually look at the serial number on the bottom of the device. So if you've already put it on a tripod, you're gonna to have to take it off before you end up syncing it with a phone. That gets a bit tricky and the video is also not that great. Again, take a peek at the video by clicking the card below. After you checked it out, come back to the video and check out the rest of the cameras. The Samsung Gear 360 is going to run around $377. I know that's a weird number, but right now it's not officially out yet in Canada, and all we can go by is the Amazon dollar amount in the US. Right off the bat, this was one of my favorite cameras that we tested. The app works really great. Although it only works with S6s or newer, sorry if you have an iPhone or any other Android phone, there are ways to get it on it with an APK, but let's just say it doesn't work there for now. But what you're getting is a great package, and if you have a Samsung phone, this thing really rocks. It's super easy to connect, and it gives you a great preview of every single video you're working with. And if you have a Gear VR, you can pop it into that. It's also really good at sharing both to Facebook and to YouTube right away. Those are all really fun features to have in a 360 camera that I recommend to someone to buy. I mean, we'll get into the GoPros a bit, but they're a lot harder to use. Again, please check out the card below to see a sample of the videos we shot with the Gear 360 camera. And come back to us after you're done watching them. All right, the last one we're gonna talk about here is how much does this Freedom 360 GoPro rig cost? Well, it gets a bit complicated, but try to stick with me on this. You need to buy six GoPro Hero 4 black cameras. That's gonna run you to a total around $3,000. You're also going to need to buy a mount of some sort. This one again is a Freedom 360 mount. 360 Hero has also made some mounts, so you can grab one of those, but expect to pay around $500 for this mount. Next, you're gonna probably need to buy six high-speed micro SD memory cards expect to spend around $350 on that. You're also gonna to need to spend $850 on the Color 360 package. That's gonna give you both Giga and Auto Panel Video Pro, which will allow you to stitch together all of your images. On top of that, the GoPro Hero 4s have a tendency to overheat, and that also means their battery life sucks. So you're gonna to need to spend around $150 on USB battery packs. That brings you a total of $4,860 just under $5,000. That being said, you will get the best quality image out of the GoPro rig. However, it's really hard to recommend this to anyone because of how hard it is to stitch the footage. With each one of the other cameras we talked about today, you're going to get an image or video that is immediately usable. You can take it right on your phone 
and share it to both YouTube or Facebook. However, with the GoPros, there's a lot more processing time involved. Stitching a shot can take anywhere from four to seven hours. When you're first starting off, it gets better as you go on, but it's really tricky at the start. You will get the higher quality image, but for most people, it's not gonna be worth the price. If you're looking for something that you can just share and show off to people, I'd recommend pretty much any of the other cameras. That being said, please take a peek at the GoPro images below. Uh, click the cards, again, check them out and come back to us. So hopefully you enjoyed checking out the GoPro 360 videos. Those are my favorites. They did take way more than any of the other videos to make, but that we're a lot happier with the image quality we get out of it. That being said, my personal favorite video was the Samsung Gear 360 for consumer cameras. You get a great quality of video and it's a ton of fun to use. I know that sounds weird. After working with these GoPros, it's hard to say that it's fun shooting with a 360 camera because they usually involve a clapper board, you know, spinning them to sync them with motion and then hoping that all six cameras are recording and that, that they're not overheating. So, if you wanna have a ton of fun shooting 360 video, I'm really gonna recommend the Samsung Gear 360. If you wanna look into higher quality video, right now the GoPro rig here is still my main recommendation. However, the GoPro Omni will be launching really soon and we'll hopefully have a review going over each one of the features of that. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you got a little bit of clarity in the confusing world of 360 degree cameras. That being said, we're gonna hopefully be doing a lot more of these videos. So punch that like button, give us a subscribe. And if you have any questions, hit us up on the social media links below. See you soon.